Shalom Ha Berim. <laughs> Some of you may get that. Oh, All man. right. So we are at the Denver All American Reptile and Plant Expo here in Denver, Colorado. Each week, Brian does a cinematic masterpiece and one that is uncut. And in today's uncut video, Dave and I are walking around the expo that he just explained. And we're just gonna walk around, we're gonna talk. You know, I always title these videos, and I'm sure you've noticed, Dave, what really happened at the Reptile Expo. Right, and, and, and you have yet to show what really happens at a Reptile Expo. Well, it's also an uncut video, so we only have the time that we film here to do it. We could talk about what really happened. Okay, somebody so puked, the, uh, the power, somebody ran into a power pole. Someone ran pole. into a power pole and knocked out all the power here yesterday. Yes, twice. As I was filming, so I caught that happening as, live. As we were filming as well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, we were filming. So there's, there's also some things that happened. Um, Dave found a albino milk, Mexican black king snake. Well, I guess I found it on you his channel. Yeah, 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 my channel. And then on my channel, Dave found out just, well, we won't talk about that. You'll have to go watch to find out what Dave found out. On, I'm not even sure what I found out. <laughs> so what are some things here, Dave, that we should show our lovely audience here today? Well, um, there's a lot of uh, this one particular snake. I, I can't remember the name of it. Um, Ball python, I think, is what it is. They're pretty rare. You don't see a lot of them at expos, actually, especially nowadays. But um, th there, there are a few of these the ball pythons. Keep, keep switching hands. What happened last time when we did an uncut video? I was carrying the same heavy rig. It doesn't yeah. happen this time. Yeah, sometimes I'll switch hands, too, when I'm we're, doing... We're here at Schumann and, and Schumann Sons. Never, never Schumann and Sons pythons. We're going to check out one of the best snakes on their table. I'm All right, sure that is, let's we're look find at it. out. Find out which oh one? boy, there's a lot of cool stuff there here. There are a lot of snakes here. Actually, I mean, like a lot of cool stuff. Well, what, what, what do you think? What do you think is the best? You know, I, I, can I interject, if I may? Yes. The Super Phantom was one of like the most, like the hottest morph when they first came on the scene. Oh, and there's a hypo. And right, and I don't know why these fell out of favor. They are one of my favorite morphs. Who doesn't love a purple snake? Who, who's fell out of favor? Here's one of the things about ball pythons and ball python people. I'm saying, I'm talking about us. Mm, mm. Um, like, it's not purple. But it is. Comment down below if you see this color right here and you say, oh yeah, purple. It's like a purple crayon. That's purple. It's like a purple it's like a, purple. It's, it's like a grape. It's like a blueberry. It's like a... Uh, you know, it's like the last color in the rainbow. That, I mean, if we're being honest and we look at that, that's not what that is. It's a very beautiful shade of gray. I guess we're gonna disagree <laughs> to agree. So we're not gonna, so we're disagreeing on that we agree. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, All right. so sense. let's, but look at this. Black pastel cinder yellow belly mimosa. Ooh, what is a cinder? Cinder uh, is when you um, just char the outline with like a big lighter. <laughs> um, oh, wow. We can't no, leave your audience is, hanging I, with what a cinder is here. Oh yeah. Or what a is mimosa. A, well, what is a cinder? I don't know. Cinder's gonna be part of the mahogany. Cinder's, Cinder's gonna, be, gonna be part of the mahogany. Part of the mahogany. Part of the mahogany. So not, a, not quite a mahogany, but it's in the same. Not same quite generation. a mahogany, not but in the same. So it's like a lelic to mahogany? Kind of. Kind of, maybe? I got a little bit of this in the oh. So... All right, let's see. Let's see what we can the find around here. The going to be the hypo champagne. The mimosa is going to be a hypo champagne. Yeah. Black pastel is going to be... Hopefully Barnhart line. Um, the yellow belly is going to hopefully be... One of the lines of yellow belly. <laughs> <laughs> Ball python jokes. What, 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 where is the puzzle? Red hypo Mojave, hypo Mojave redhead puzzle, looking very nice, looking very nice indeed. Got some blackheads, exantix, and thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah, you got some cool stuff, man. Go check out Schumann and Sons pythons for more excellent 
ball pythons. All right, now, if we go down this way, we are going to find some stuff. I believe you. Yeah. I believe, yeah. Oh, you know what? There was a really cool thing over here. This is something different that I've not seen at an expo before, and not at a reptile. Is it me? Or Plant Expo. Uh, I'm pretty sure we see you these days at most reptile expos. That is true. That it is seems true. like you're doing I, a, I, like I you do and I, enjoy coming to the Reptile Expo, especially with you. It seems like you There's and I buds. are buds, and also we're having, um, we're constantly, gosh, you think I knew how to do a video on a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm just by learning. Now. This is like my thousandth video and I still can't do it. Um, I, you would think, uh, no, we've been doing a lot. We've been like almost every week now we're doing these uncut videos. And, of and they're awesome and people love them. I hope, I think, I don't know, maybe. Do you love them? Do you want more of them? I Comment down below. Yeah, yeah. Um, here Look at we this. have an array of carnivorous plants. Which are awesome, definitely awesome. But I mean, this isn't per se what I came for, although I do love a good Venus flytrap. Um, they're just classic, and look at the you, purple you, you, you teeth Venus, on this. Right? I said Venus, v yes. V v yes. Venus flytrap, Dave. But look at what he's got over here. He's oh, got a specimen out. set up with a microscope, and that thing is so bright that we can't quite see it in this video. But the great thing about what he's set, the great thing about his setup is that even though this is too bright to see what's under the microscope, it is a microscope. And he does have this nice viewing window here for you to see what it is the microscope's looking at. It's a fly. It is some sort of fly, it appears to be. It looks pretty nice and in focus, and we're getting a great macro microscopic shot. I think it's more of a macro shot of, of a, this do you, do awesome fly. Do you think that fly. they got really lazy naming this insect? It's like, what do we name this insect flying around? <laughs> I'm out of ideas, let's just name it a fly. <laughs> Right? Yeah. right? I do want to show you yeah. this though. Oh, Over here, we have, and I already bought some of her artwork for my herp room. This, I mean, look at. Oh, that's nice. This is like some of the best artwork I have ever seen of um, reptiles. Wow, this but is really nice. What I really like about her artwork is that she includes all of these really cool, like, backdrop displays, like pumpkins with tarantulas. It's very Halloween y. Stop trying to include stuff like that in the video. What? Mr. Venus. Gosh. Um, that, that one is very spidery. Oh, Dave. <laughs> what, what's the name of your company, sis? Grey Ghost Creations. Grey Ghost? Grey Ghost Creations. Grey Ghost Creations. Grey Ghost Creations. Go check out Grey Ghost Creations. She is extremely talented. Wait, awesome wait, 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 wait. Come back here. Come back here. Okay. One more. Pumpkins. Oh, pumpkin frogs. With pumpkin frogs. Those are awesome. I, this is a talent. So I bought a bunch of stuff from her. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, yeah. well look at it. Look and at the, by look a at bunch of stuff, I mean just one. Extremely reasonable prices, too. That's amazing. Toad. Toad. All right. All the originals were done in colored pencils. All pencils. originals, all colored pencils, and cra yeah. crazy good prices for this originals. This is so cool. I'll, I'll come back for my payment for that in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can always, always get to see some good... Uh, Lens. Oh, I'm gonna make my camera fall off the thing. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh -oh. oh, don't fall off camera. No, no, lock it. Lock it. Okay. Lock it. Good. We're locked. We're locked. We're loaded. We're not gonna drop the camera. Okay. Today. And then uh, let's go down this way because there are some uh, really cool things that we're gonna find down here. You think so? I'm, okay. I'm so we sure. did do a video. There's something a really special animal sitting over here. At this table, where over here, over here with Nicole back there. Oh yeah, we already filmed that. Yeah, I know we did film it, but it's not. So that video is coming out this weekend. It's probably, arguably, even cooler than the Mexican black king snake albino, albino Mexican black king snake. Possibly, snake. possibly. Check this out. Stop it, Dave. But this, this, we're not looking at that. That's what we're going to show the next video. Can I give them a weekend. hint of what it is? No, because you're going to give it away. You're not going to give a hint. You're going to say it's a. Ma -ma 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 -ma. All right. I, I will just. How about we say that the snake's name is. Thelma and Louise. That, no, no, I gave oh, it away. Oh, that's right. Gosh, I forgot dude. that it was Thelma and Louise. Uh, I think I gave it away now. So I'm just going to whisper to um, you guys off camera what that is so that you guys know. Stop. It's, I'm going to cut your audio out. Hey, let's go check out this over here. Chris just gave, Chris at Epic Style gave a uh, great educational program in the tent earlier. They're having educational programs show as a regular thing. Oh, these zero masks. I want to show oh, these off because gosh. these are some of the these best. These are so hot. So. Check those bad boys out right there. If you want, I can pull them out if you want. 
Yeah, if you pull them out, it'll be fantastic. But we, the, the people can't hear you, FYI. Yeah. I, I mean, actually, if you want to, here, you know what? I'll, speak I'll into my, my mouth shut. No, like speak that. into my neck and, and if you want to sp I'll tell. Lean in. Just yeah, yeah, lean in. You really have to speak into my neck. You're the only one who can say speak into my neck without making it creepy. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to stand over here. You speak into the neck. I'll point the camera at these amazing lizards. Sure. So these are ornate Euromastics, uh, about a year old. These are all males. Okay, let's come over here. The backlight is making sure. them. Yeah, however you like. Yeah, see. There. Brandon, give me an extra hand. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now we're, now we're seeing hand. some. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hold one of these bad boys. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Look at that. These are yearling male ornate Euromastics. And uh, these guys are still, again, about a year old, so not fully grown. They come from Israel, Jordan, Egypt, parts of Saudi Arabia. There's other species that exist all across North Africa, from Morocco across to the Mideast. Uh, when you get into Iraq and Iran and Pakistan, they turn into a different genus, which is Sara. Uh, but these guys are uh, nice, real solid little captive bred babies. All right, but so I want to point cute. something out. Oh, were you going to say something, Brian? No, no, I was just, they're just so cute and, and yeah, beautiful and like, so look at how chill they are. The one that I have here, look at that. Blue hues in the tail, right? This one, Totally green tail, that's like a emerald tail. And then over here, ugly ass tail. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Got him. Got him. What's really cool, I think, well, one of the things that I like about these is these are just yearlings, right? So the adults are gonna be even more colorful. Like fully mature males have probably double the saturation, uh, double the color coverage, and their color's ontogenic. So the older they get, the better that color gets. It's pretty, pretty badass. Wow. All right, so these we all know as Euromastix. Euromastix is the scientific name of this lizard. Comment below, let us know what the English common name is for these lizards. I really wonder how many people know that. <laughs> yeah, you should flip them over too. Oh, oh wow, look, look at that. them bellies. Wow, crazy. that belly is better looking than my belly. <laughs> you and me both, think, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a hard, a big ask. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, thank that's you guys a, for taking that's a euro belly yeah, no problem, no all problem. right thanks guys hey, it's been good. yeah you got two left all right, <laughs> Dave's all right to bud, stuff, give him back Go can't, on. you can't trust dave <laughs> coffin dude you gotta watch that guy like a hawk let me tell you what oh thank you good to meet you hi so how you doing man good to meet you guys we got we're in the middle of a video but yeah cool <laughs> good to meet you um now what? That, that, those are awesome. Like, I, I don't even we know. should have saved that for last because that is the sh like one of the showstoppers that are here. But what's interesting about this is that this, as we mentioned, is a plant, is a plant and reptile and expo. Reptile expo. Reptile plant. Oh, we, when we do a pretty cool feature on some of these plants over here, um, over at Nursery Rx this weekend video, you have to see like so we Dave and I both learned something really amazing about plants. That really we, amazing about we, plants that we didn't know. So make sure you tune in for this weekend's video because that's where you're gonna find out about Nursery, R Nursery Rx and uh, what they've got going over there with their awesome plants. Well, what did you wanna show for plants that's not what we, something we already are gonna show this weekend? Well, I learned that plants aren't just something that you put ranch dressing on, so that was <laughs> kind of cool to figure that out. But look at these orchids. Yeah, this, this actually, you know, here's what I really love about um, having a reptile plant expo. Well, there's a couple things that I really love about having a reptile and plant expo combined that I didn't know. And not that there are sometimes plant vendors at other reptile expos, but this expo is specifically like plant and reptile. It's like half plant, half reptile. And then there's a lot of really good mix there. You know, like a lot of the naturalistic yeah, closures yeah, yeah. people are building, like it just, it, they blend well to each other. I feel like it's a good combo. They really complement each other. But some of the displays just makes it the feel of the show like more kind of more natural. Like I like a lot that of it adds a lot and, of color. Yeah, like and look a at this lot backdrop. So nice. Foliage. 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 I think to that's a reptile expo. Is that like the Jewish version of foliage? Isn't there foliage. something? Foliage. Wait, is there something called like a moil? What's a moil? A moil? Yeah. If you are a uh, male and eight days old, you don't want to meet a moil. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I know what a moil is. I know what a moil is. A moiliage. A <laughs> moiliage. You got water features and stuff. It's just beautiful. It's just it's just a beautiful. And this, I love to. this. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, there's a lot. It's just a very visually I love pleasing. It. I mean, expo. this is just great. It feels good. It looks good. Tastes good. Concessions. Yeah, there's 
food, you know. Concessions, mm -hmm. yes, we do have those, but we are here anyway. I can see. All right, Dave, well, I think we've, I mean, what else could we possibly show? That oh, there's top so anything? much that more that we could possibly show. That's true, show. but here's um, the thing. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. We're probably not going to. Oh. Because. Uh, what's our counter say? I don't know, it, it says five hour, 55 hours and 27 seconds. All right, so we can do another three hours. <laughs> All right, so if we go down here, I just want to show off a couple more bull pythons over here. I was trying to show variety, but I'm trying oh, to variety. the Dave, right in the you know what? train. No, I know exactly what to hit up. We were going to show off JSA's ball pythons over here, but... You guys running out of content? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But right by JSA, uh, who has the cutest puppy in the world, look at this over here. Oh, we feature that. We feature this? Videos. No, 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 in, in this coming video. Whoa. I featured this in my video. Okay. Did you feature this in your video? No, 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 no. I was talking about something else. Okay. So here we have a bunch of rainbow bows. This is Jason, by the way. We, we have some really awesome rainbow boas, but what I did not feature in my video, I featured all the rainbow boas, but look at these. Black Russian sand boas. Not to be confused with the white Russian That you drank boa last night. That I drank last night at dinner. These are the black oh, Russian, and these are so incredibly rare that nobody knows anything about them. And that's why they're not for sale. That's correct. All right. Nothing, nobody knows anything. <laughs> 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 these are here to show uh, what the babies are going to look like. Oh, hey, we got Just babies. The babies. Nobody quite knows what they are, right? So okay, so there's the babies. Though. And then Babies look like that, and then they turn into something. This male is about 12 years old. So that is as big as the, the males are going to get. Gotcha. Cool. The, the larger one's a sub-adult female. She'll put on a few more inches. Gotcha. So. Looks great, man. Yeah, thank you. Nice. All right. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, slap the like button to show your support. This video. I'm talking I don't like think Jesse. it's long enough. Okay, Dave, it's not long enough for you, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, I guess we find something else. Well, so here's what I think we should do. Ooh, we should look at the snake skeleton. Oh, yeah, look at the snakes. Well, you tell me what you think we should do. I'll show off these cool um, pieces Ooh, of art. look at this. this these uh, locusty this thing. En enhanced enchanted entomology Ooh, art. We've got... Like all these butterflies. Dave, you gotta tell me what we're gonna do. I'm just showing the, these things while you figure out the next thing we're gonna do, because I okay. was gonna end the video. I would suggest very heavily that we continue this uncut video in Charlotte, North Carolina, two weeks from today. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, it's a good pitch for Charlotte, North right. Carolina. So, in two weeks from not the day that you're watching this video, but today. the day that we're filming it, but the weekend of the 20, so oh my gosh, I don't know when it is. Sometime in September. Well, just two weeks from up. today. So whatever today is, then you just look on the calendar and count two weeks from today. No. Not when you're watching this, but today when we're filming this. And then that's when we're going to be in South Carolina. North Carolina. Which one? Charleston. No, not Charleston. Charleston Charlotte. is South Carolina. Charlotte. Charlotte. <laughs> Gosh Charlotte. Dang it. Charleston is in Georgia. Georgia, Georgia Carolina. Dang. And South Carolina has Myrtle Beach. And North Carolina. Thank you guys for watching the video. I wait really appreciate I, I, it. I, I, I'm, I wanna, I'm getting it. I'm Hang on. Dave's don't, audio here. Wait, you guys hey, take care of yourselves. Wait, take I, care of each other. It. And no. we're going to see you on the next video. In North Carolina. In Charlotte. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>